Well guys, this is potentially the last time you're ever gonna see the Nasty Nate single cab LBZ sitting in my own driveway. That's right, we're doing it to this one too. The last one got away from us, the Duracon, and now it's the single cab. Never fails guys, I guess when we sell these things, it's just like the coldest day of the year. Literally has been 70 in Ohio all week and today the high is 25 and we got an inch of snow last night um, So this thing is frozen And I actually just cleaned out the cup holders and everything and it's kind of funny There's snow in here, but I don't want to start the truck or anything just yet because the guy who's buying it is coming uh, Very soon. They should be leaving their hotel in a few minutes and uh, coming over to check it out, but I like to have I'd like to have the truck cold for him uh, When he looks at it, so he knows exactly what he's getting. He is taking some spares I took the sticker off yesterday. That was a very sad moment. It's a really cool design and uh, one of my buddies printed it or whatever it's called made it for me so uh we are gonna have to find something very soon to put another one of those stickers on but stay tuned guys i'm gonna throw together a little montage at the end of this video just just to show all the good memories that we've had with this truck i would say that's an absolute understatement i i can't even believe this is happening right now honestly i i it's not even hit me yet but I'm sure it's gonna be really hard for me to stand in my driveway and watch this thing leave. So stay tuned guys, we got some good stuff coming up. Well guys, I just got the text. He is going to be on his way here in a few minutes. They are about to leave their hotel. Kid from New Jersey is coming to pick it up. So, so the Yukon actually went to New York and now this is going to New Jersey. So this thing started its life in Florida. Absolutely cleanest truck I could possibly find. Um, here, let me, just, uh, let me just get under the rockers and stuff real quick. I mean, it's kind of dark, but this thing is immaculate. It's a little dirty under there, but this thing is gonna be hard to let go. So the reasoning behind this is, I'll explain a lot more here in a second, but this kid has been messaging me for probably six months about this thing now. And I'm kind of like, you know, I'm on the fence about it, whatever. We've thrown around some offers and everything. And I'm like, okay, I've got some plans for this year. Let's let this one go and see what happens. But this was one of the craziest things I've ever owned. I've had people at least once a week for the past year or longer try to offer me money or offer me to buy it or ask me when I sell it to, to hit them up and whatever. So it just so happened to be this kid uh, was you know, at the top of my list. He always stayed in communication with me and seems like it's gonna be going to a really good home. So this is gonna be the perfect fit for it. But stay tuned guys, this is crazy.
right, guys, again, super dirty under the flare. Wait, 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 wait a minute. What? Oh, it's a Florida truck. No wonder it's not rusty. liquid metal. It's time. These things literally weigh 140 pounds. 140 pounds a piece. That is just, dude, that is absurd. Yeah, we're out here working. You saw this in the last video, but I cannot get enough of it. And this is why we are here in Daytona Beach to be out here on the beach in the sand, getting it, meeting all kinds of new people. All these guys are from upstate New York. Super cool dudes. Check out the video. Stay tuned right now. We are at the show all day and it was crazy. Got to meet a bunch of Instagram people, a bunch of people I follow.
So the reasons I sold the single cab, the first reason is I was just kind of bored with it. And I kind of got to the point where I was like, okay, maybe I can sell it and figure out something else to do to make YouTube videos and just to have fun with really. At the end of the day, I've had the thing for four and a half years and I've done pretty much everything I wanted to do with it. Took it to a lot of shows, met a ton of good people. By the way, all the people I've met, I can't thank you guys enough. Everybody I've met with this truck has been just amazing. Has just been a great experience with the truck. Obviously, I, I can't complain about any of it. So, I appreciate all of you guys for that. Another reason is I just want something else to kind of spark my interest and maybe something older, maybe something newer. I haven't decided yet. I do want to do another project for the YouTube channel though. So that is coming very soon. Actually, I've got kind of a surprise that I'm going to show you right in front of me here in a second. And it is getting the six liter out of the Yukon. So we're using everything we got from the Yukon. And let me just show you guys right now because I'm looking at it and I love the thing. I've owned it for a few years. If you've stayed tuned, you've probably seen it in a few videos, but without further ado, thank you guys for watching till the end of these videos, by the way. So here we are. It's a 1997 BMW M3. This is a true M3. I pulled out the drivetrain, perfectly running and driving, good drivetrain. I'm selling that this weekend. That's gonna cover the cost for most of the stuff for the swap. So this swap should be pretty quick. If you guys like LS style engines, and let me tell you, this thing's absolutely gonna rip with the cam and heads I'm putting on the six liter, which is way back in the corner over there. You guys are gonna love this build. And if you're really into the truck stuff, don't worry, we got trucks coming very soon. Make sure you stay tuned to Nasty Nate right here. I cannot thank you guys enough for getting me to the following that we have on YouTube and Instagram just because of the single cab and the Duracon. It's time to get some other builds rolling and I can't wait.